So I see the creator of Sam Simpsons is donating 500000 to UCLA and looks as if he's serious about education or youth and so on and so forth. And um, it's such a, a beautiful gift that sounds as if he's very altruistic and so on. Um, on the other hand, I, I'm wondering what the Simpson characters are doing to youth. Um, I, if, I'm not a fan of Simpson or anyone of these cartoons, but what I've seen so far is that uh, you have them behaving very peculiar and weird. Uh, you have uh, the kids talking to the parents like a real man up, uh, like if they're equal or they're superior. And the kids playing like, oh yeah, you know, this dote into the parents. And um, I think that uh, this cartoon and the other cartoons, like Sesame Street, I mean, even if you give away all the money that you make, it, it, the harm that these shows are doing, I don't think you could sort of reverse them. And um, I've seen many where uh, Marge, she doesn't go wrong, like, you know, you know, unfaithful to Simpson. But they're cartoons, they're just drawings. I mean, why do we add all this? They really look like humans. But we know they're not real. We know it's just a fictitious stuff. Why do we even bother to watch it? Well, uh, you know, we need a little entertainment. Yeah, entertainment was like in the past when you were working hard and people were doing things like constructive and creative, but now where people just wasting time with a job and, and unproductive and, and just want, want, want. I mean, perhaps we need to review the stuff that we're watching. Uh, I'll make a next video on this though, but what I've discovered, sometimes you see some people walking on the street. They look as if they have an important job and how they look from far. You could see that they probably went to university and have an education, have a responsible job. But they, they, they're looking kind of like stupid, you know, they're looking like as if they're borderline morons or something. And when you talk to them, you'll discover that um, they're stuck on childhood, thing, childhood things. In the evenings, they want to watch the little cartoons. Um, although they're grown, they're watching The Simpsons. I got to see my Simpsons. I got to see Scooby-Doo. I got to see Donald Duck. I got to see, um, what else? Um, you know, all these little cartoon things. My Sesame Street, too. I got to see them. And the, and the soap operas and so on and um, you know they, they, they the Bible says that we behold we, we become changed by beholding or by beholding you become changed so in other words uh, I can't be hanging out with some losers and some drug dealers and some of the scum of the earth and I expect that I'm gonna be president one day it's very likely you end up just like them either drugged out arrested shot or something like that you gotta choose friends you gotta be with people who are going where you want to be or who are already there um, good people and so on you know you just know I mean I'm poor and I, I, I all I could afford is to live in a little 50 bucks a week place a little you know in a dumb people there but I still I'm not a part of the deal I'm in there like so, like uh, uh, Christmas and New Year's and so they say come on join our party oh no I'm busy I have things doing man Christmas night I'm on the end you know, trying to make a video or trying to read something or trying to learn my Spanish or something. I'm not going to hook up with them because, you see, how it's going to go down is that somebody in a bit of fight or they were on the health team preparing the food, you end up sick or because they fed you and you didn't take enough. It's like they expect that they're going to come and borrow money from you and they're going to come over by your place. I don't go by their place. Don't come at my place. I don't want anybody to come to my place or else we come to uh, talk and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's go by me, let's talk some stuff. That's about it. Other than that, don't come by my place. Alright? Um, nobody is going to draw the cops over me. They come over full with drugs and any cops are going to charge me with uh, aiding and abetting traffic and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Or riding around with them. When they see the cops pull over, they're going to throw the, the pipe by my side. And then the cops say, come on, let me search this van. Hey, what is pipe doing by you? This is in your area. You control it and charge me with, with paraphernalia and all. You know what I mean? It's like so many problems. And so, even with these characters in associating them, making them your, your, your comrades and your, your uh, companero and your friends and so forth, you end up with serious problems, man. And um, I was saying, though, that the, the people who look kind of like the borderline morons, what I discover is that, very invariably, they like Stephen King writing and uh, the um, lady who wrote Harry Potter and so on. Those books... And those writers, they follow up the next series and the next series until they end up mentally ill. Because these people are dealing with so far out evil and so far out ideas that aren't practical and real. That it tips you over and become sort of mentally unbalanced. And then 
you know you never know this thing goes down you know you make bad decisions you end up in the wrong crowd um you know you end up being destroyed but as i said even when i was in toronto i saw this lady in the bus shed and i see her eyes are rolling and i i suspect that that was kind of like devil possession so i went over and i talked to her a little bit along she's from africa and um she says that in america in canada you know she's alone and she's very lonely and and so on and what she did she started delving into into voodoo you know what i mean uh and, and she feel nice and it's good and it's like companionship and so forth it's exciting but then you know it'll end up meant to creating making her crazy and um when you get involved in that kind of stuff you can't leave it as uh i think was santana sang in Hall hotel california you could check out anytime you want but you can't leave <laughs> isn't that funny you check out your hotel but you still got to build running and you still can't leave so you can get you broke and the cops can come and take you away because you don't have no money to pay up. And that's what happens when people get involved in all this evil. I mean, the devil come for payments. You might be driving a car down the road and somebody come through a road and T-bone you, bam, you're dead. Or you're just driving slow like that and you run and hit some oil slick and you run into a lamp post. Or a tree fall on you. Or um, you go around and turn your slid off and go on down the ravine spinning. You know what I mean? Or you kill a whole bunch of people. You make a bad drive on the bus, run off the road and kill all them kids. You know, you don't get involved in stuff like that. So this cartoon, uh, this uh, Simpsons cartoon, I find it so trivial and, and, and I can't understand why important people in a, in a first world country, the most powerful nation, are going to be involved in these activities. Lastly, I recall uh, there was a show on television called uh, Acting Crazy. He had this guy who was with uh, on the, several characters, but I remember this one in particular, um, what's his name? I don't know his name, but he was in, uh, oh, this show from out in L.A good times and, and they say act crazy and they're doing this and they say what he's doing over there oh he's you know i mean it's like not everybody's acting crazy that's a problem no because acting crazy is the major thing in life everybody's acting crazy you know if you're acting constructive and you go serious they hate you and they want to kill you and they're saying that you discriminate against them because they're mentally ill or whatever i remember in toronto this guy he talked how he has all his addiction problems all his problems and i smile so he expect me you now to go in my pocket or to say oh i could understand bro I was there too, I know what you're talking about. I don't understand what you're talking about, bro. I don't want to hear about it. I don't even care. You know what I mean? That's you. You, you make your choices. You, you got your life screwed up, bro. I ain't going to do that. I ain't got time with this man. Look, I, I don't understand it. I mean, I didn't go there, but it's like he's telling me that, oh, you, you feel that uh, my problems that whatever. Man, you look for your problems, bro. Oh, you come and bring me into that now, man. I, I, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never done them stuff. And it's like, you deal with that, bro. I'm dealing with, I had other problems, you see what I'm saying? I haven't gone and got addictive problems and those unhealthy problems. I got problems and people trying to keep me down. And I'm trying to kill me because I'm trying to go somewhere. I'm trying to lock me because I'm making a difference and they feel threatened because as a black man, I'm straight and I'm wanting to go for the money, you know what I mean?